we've had multiple through hull failures on boats in recent years uh, from these inferior grades of metal that are being used for the through hulls. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert videos here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and we're answering your questions regarding boat electrical systems. So let's start with today's question. I have a 40 year old fiberglass boat with green bonding wires to all the bronze Groco through hulls. Should these be bonded or isolated? Well, Groco are pretty high quality. They are, they're uh, silicon bronze. And the answer is they don't need to be bonded. Mm -hmm. Typically speaking, on the other end of the, the uh, through hull, you've got a hose of some sort, which effectively electrically isolates it. So you can treat them as independent pieces of high quality bronze and they're very corrosion resistant. So you can get away without bonding them. And if you do bond them and you've got a bonding system with a zinc anode in it or, or aluminum, they're just going to accelerate the rate of erosion of the anode. However, we need to, to really sound a caution here because for the last couple of decades, we've had an awful lot of metal through hulls for boats that are made from some variant of brass. Yeah. And they might call it dezincification resistant brass, often known as DZR yeah. or DZR brass. Um, but those, those brasses are much more prone to corrosion and they do need to be mm. bonded. And we've had multiple through hull failures on boats in recent years uh, from these inferior grades of metal that yeah. are being used for the through hulls. Yeah. I mean, I think it comes partially on from some European ISO standards, which I think they, they're only supposed to last five years. They only have to last five years. Yeah, I mean, who's changing right. their through hulls every, yeah. every five years? Yeah. I mean, it's nuts. So. <laughs> uh, but I, I've seen uh, boats where uh, if you they look fine from the outside, but there is zinc in them. There are a, they are a variant of brass. And if the zinc starts to get eaten up, uh, they become somewhat porous and quite brittle. And I've seen boats that are two years old that you could kick the through hull and it would snap off. Um, my own brother's own boat, in less than two years, there were cracks in uh, some of the, the elbows coming off the through hulls, which are, were DZR brass, and uh, it eaten right through the elbows. Um, they're a real uh, headache because there are tens of thousands of boats out there with dubious, well, your own boat. Mm -hmm. you, you changed them all, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a precaution. I mean, I, yeah. actually, I mean, you could see some sort of like corrosion on the outside. Actually, mm -hmm. when I saw them through, they were fine. They were not the typical red color that you get if the- Well, it doesn't have to be red. I mean, I've got, mm. but if you look at it under a magnifying glass, you'll actually see it's mm. almost like a, a piece of foam with little holes in it. At, at that point, they're really brittle. Yeah. And uh, you can give them just a gentle whack with a hammer and they'll snap. Just in case, I changed mine to high quality uh, plastic fittings actually from True Design, which I really like. So if you happen to have like any through holes where you're not sure what material they're made of, it might be a good idea to change them at some point. There's a particular yeah. ABYC standard that's relevant to through holes, yeah. um, because that also means that they've gone through some fairly rigorous yeah. physical testing. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to be able to put like more than 200 uh, kilos, kilos of, of load on, yeah, on pressure load from any direction. Side, yeah. Uh, That's without a lot of ports, yeah. 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 yeah, I've taken some of those, um, those uh, not the true design, but the Mar Marillon ones, which are th very similar. And uh, I've, I've done things like fill them with water, plug the ends and stick them in the freezer to see if they'll burst. Mm -hmm. And then I threw them in the wood stove to see how well they burn and how quickly <laughs> they burned. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. <laughs> but, like, they're, they're pretty resilient. I have to do, no. yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably right. before your boat is... Right. I mean, if, if they start uh, leaking because of fire, you right. I mean, maybe if you have a metal boat, it's a different story, but yeah. with a fiberglass boat, I think yeah. you're pretty if I bad was, off uh, anyway. So. Yeah, if I was building a boat from scratch today, that's what I would yeah. use. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, in any case, I mean, I guess you heard that uh, this is actually an important topic, whether or not you want to bond them, but for sure, make sure they're proper and good material. And we actually have a whole module about corrosion in our Advanced Marine Electrics course. So if you want to learn more about that, check that out. And otherwise, just see you for the next video. Stay tuned.